Just say what. What is that? Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. Put the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. So, this is it, huh? Oh, no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. I'm pretty sure the Conclave proved it's not that easy. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Why? Because someone yelled it real loud. Make them prove it. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Right. They should know it's a simple job. End all war. Stitch the sky. The easy one first, of course. <laughs> You're daft, yeah? Most people get special. They lose their snark. Can't see how stupid it all is. I think I'll like you, Lady Herald. Maybe you are a little touched, yeah? I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. It's an investment, yeah? Better pay off, too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. Closing the breach is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you would be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? Yes, I am. The Dalish are the best hope for preserving the culture of our people. Our people? You use that phrase so casually. It should mean more. But the Dalish have forgotten that, among other things. Oh, but you know the truth, right? While they pass on stories, mangling details, I walk the fade. I have seen things they have not. Fine. You think we're terrible. What about the alienages full of elves who aren't Dalish? Why? What would it benefit some poor man in a Ferelden alienage to learn that his ancestors strode the land like gods? It would only make him bitter, or inspire him to take a foolish risk and get himself killed. You've decided his reaction for him. Perhaps I have. If you have questions and believe the answers will help, ask. I'd like to know more about the Elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the Empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. A place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient Elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish air bells. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Are all Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed, adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits. Others trade freely with humans. And some have disappeared entirely from the forests. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. 
Is the magic they teach in the circle different from the magic I learned with my people? No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic and in an ending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Every time I've seen blood magic used, it's been for some evil purpose. I once saw a woman stabbed in the stomach with a dagger. She died slowly, in agony. It was repulsive. If the Chantry outlawed daggers, would that stop people from using them? Of course not. Some would use daggers in secret, ashamed, and some would find rebellion titillating, step down the path of depravity. So we should allow blood magic to be used freely. It works so well for the Imperium. Devinda's foundation stones are the bones of ancient elves with slave blood for the mortar. It is an example of nothing more than gilded savagery. Pity it will have way. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. We'll talk later. Goodbye. You've never been to a circle, as far as I can tell, yet you're remarkably skilled. Were you self-taught? Not at all. I studied magic with Keeper Deshana. I have heard about the traditions of magic among the Dalish Keepers, but it's all third-hand. In my own experience, nothing is more deadly to a young mage than a lack of knowledge, which makes the current state of things... precarious. What do you imagine will happen if the Circles are not restored? Do you foresee the Dalish taking us all under their wing? The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the Rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Nobody should claim to know the will of the Maker. Not me, and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Mistress Lavelle, do you have a moment? Did you need something, Ambassador? Yes. Well, not precisely, but... I should like to know if anyone here has treated you unkindly, Hert, for being an elf. I can deal with a few whispers and sideways looks. I shall speak with the staff regarding such conduct. If we're to convince the world that Andrastis Herald is an elf, the Inquisition must give you its utmost support. Stories of wild Dalish elves have grown even more outrageous as people learn of you. How have the rumors gotten worse? I would prefer not to repeat them. Give me something. Stealing children, selling peasants to slavers, burning down villages, using infants for blood magic. Those are the stories about your fellow Dalish. I won't repeat what they've said about you. Isn't the magic just as much a problem as my ears? It depends which way the wind is blowing. Magic is meant to serve man, the chant teaches. Close the breach, and we can claim that is why Andraste chose you. Hopefully, it will be enough to replace this gossip about the Dalish. Why not claim the Dalish can steal your breath or turn into dragons while they're at it? Now that I've said that out loud, someone probably has. Very likely. I will see what the Inquisition can do to contain the slander. It may help if I know more about how you and your clan lived. The best part was when the Aravel, our wagons, turned from the plains to the woods. I used to spend weeks exploring the forest. You make it sound idyllic. 
Haven is so far away from home. You must miss the people of your clan. All my friends are there. Before I came to the Conclave, the clan was my whole world. I'd like to see them after everything is done. I hope you get the chance. Whether you're with them or not, being the clan of the Herald of Andraspe will mark them in history. The Dalish still worship the gods of our ancestors. When they hear me called the Herald of Andraste, it may stir up anger. They must see that you move in different circles now. The moment of understanding can be painful. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comitius Aclasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bulls Chargers offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front. He pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Your Worship, for what it's worth, welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been... delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the Wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. Why are you lot always on about this? There's no deal. You just do things. Just things? Like... whatever? Just things. Like the... What, a hundred or so groups in Kirkwall that sat around all night dressed as guards or exotic dancers, waiting to jump out and hit someone? Nah, a friend shut them out, but they were legends, right? These must be the missing soldiers. Murdered. Shit. We should see that their families are notified. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. Those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. Chargers! Stand down! Krim! How'd we do? Five or six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. I assume you remember Cremisius Aclasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything, personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. 
Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> the Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? I've never heard of it. It's a Canari order. They handle information, loyalty, security, all of it. Spies, basically. Or, well, we're spies. The Bin Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Orlais. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. You're a Kunari spy, and you just told me. Whatever happened at that Conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone there, not much. But if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. All right, you're in. Excellent. Prem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Canari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. The Inquisition has done all right so far without an Inquisitor. That's because all we've needed so far is damage control. Reaction. A group can handle that. Once you've sealed the breach, it's gonna be time to make decisions. Someone's gonna have to step up. Ah, who knows? Maybe you seal the breach. The Tantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. Can I help you with anything? I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. The Chief. Last time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a Canari, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. If he keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Bull isn't like that. The Chargers might give him more lip than you'd expect, but every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. How did a Tevinter soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble, trying to flee Tevinter. A Tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Bull killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. That's how he lost the eye? Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Bull came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flare. Bull put himself between me and the blow. They can't, idiot. 
Didn't even know me. Is it strange to work for a Kunari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kune, if that's what you're asking. The Bull's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasroth, I'd have thought he'd left that life behind. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. We'll talk later. Is there something you need? Is there anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery, but the Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. In that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I should let you get back to work. Greeting. Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? But what are Seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. So the Seekers commanded the Templars? No. The Order didn't assume command until after the Rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful, considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, so that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. Why did your order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry for a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. 
You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes... You seem to care a great deal about it. Too much, if you ask the rest of my order. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the Mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. How does someone become a Seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. I wish I could experience that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. I've no more questions.